In this video, we're going to show you how to process a receipt. I'm already in a client's policy. I've gone into a personal lines policy. Works virtually the same from a commercial lines. In this particular policy, I do have some information set up as far as a down payment, number of payments, and um, monthly payment. And I've told Genesis this is a company pay plan. So all I have to do is hit the new receipt, cash check to agency select my payment type and these uh, payment types can be managed from the uh, Genesis main dashboard so if you don't need all of these payment types or you need additional ones you could manage that to make it work like you'd like it to and I'm gonna say that this particular um, receipt is gonna be for new business um, in the behind here I've got the policy set as renewal so it's confused about that so, but it uh, let me make that decision and kind of keep moving forward. And so here's my payment amount. It pulled in, as you can see, the down payment. And it would have pulled in the down payment because it was new business. It would have done the same thing had I told it it was a renewal payment type. Now, had I indicated that this was a late installment or an installment payment type, then it would have pulled in from this other field, the monthly payments over here or late if it were late payment so it pulled that in for me I can add other lines uh, to this receipt as many as I'd like if there's other fees or, or things that might be uh, charged here and when I'm finished I can come down to the amount tendered field now rather than clicking in the field here like that now by the way when I did it kind of defaulted to the hundred dollars and if that's right then all you have to do is print the receipt or save it without printing or go to more options if you want to uh, email the receipt to the insured. But I could, if I'm going to enter something here, it's a little better in most places in Genesis to just click on the label. You click on the label, it selects the entire field. So this wouldn't make any sense in this example, but if the customer were paying, paying me with $120, I would owe them $20 change. Um, I'll go back and make it $100. And now I can print the receipt if the customer's in front of me and I want to hand them the receipt. If uh, for whatever reason I'm processing this receipt and do not need to give them a copy, I can just save this without printing. I can, if they want to pay by credit card instead of cash or check to the agency, then I can uh, click the credit card payment. We integrate with two payment systems and that'll be covered in a uh, different video for credit card processing. Uh, if this customer had come back to me for some reason I needed to reprint the receipt you can do that it does uh, indicate on the receipt that's been reprinted that it is a reprinted receipt so people can't bring the same receipt in two or three times um, and then finally you could go to more options and you can do things like uh, email this directly to your insured save it to your images if there's a reason to save it to images and if you want to get something electronically signed through the integration with InsureSign, you can click that button. So that's the gist of a receipt. If you have any questions, please let us know. And we'll touch back on this in other videos as, as it relates to things like uh, managing invoices and that sort of thing. So I hope this is helpful and thank you so much.